Hi, this is Aaron Reed, Systems Engineer at Verge.io, and today I'm just going to do a quick video on how to add a vSAN tier into a Verge.io cloud system. First thing I'll do is log into our interface. Now once I'm in the interface, I want to go into my nodes to find my disk that I want to add into my new vSAN tier. This is a small two node cluster deployment for an edge computing type resource solution. So I'll click on my nodes and first I'll go to node one and I'll double click on node one and then in node one I'll go down to my drives tile. In my drives tile you can see my NVMe where I have my tier one is, is live. That's how we're logged into the system today. Um, and what I want to do is I want to expand this out. I want to add a two terabyte vSAN tier mirror across both my nodes. And I have to do that, I have this um, SATA two terabyte drive that I can use for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this drive and I'm gonna go over here to scale up. And once I click on scale up, it should give me the option to pick a tier to put the SATA SSD into. So I'll go ahead and click scale up. Then here you can see it gives me the option to put it into a tier. I won't put it in my tier one because I'm already using that, but I will put it in my tier three. I'm gonna go ahead and click tier three, click submit. Now this is adding it into the tier. If I go back into my dashboard here, I should see my vSAN tier shows one of one. If I come down here to my logs, node action, action execute set, it says discovered a new vSAN device ID1 at path dev SDA2, refresh node drives complete. Now that that's complete, up here you can see I have two vSAN tiers, two and two. If I click on my vSAN tiers, you can see my online redundancy because it's doing maintenance, it's adding that tier in. And now it just moved to green. So now what I need to do to make that tier, that vSAN tier three fully redundant, is I go, need to go to my second node, go to node two, and I'll go down to my drives in node two. And on my node two, I have another additional drive that I can add in to that vSAN tier three. And here you can see it's another two terabyte drive. So I'm gonna check this drive. And once I check this drive, it gives me this left-hand menu option. It's available where I can scale up again. So I'll go ahead and scale up. And this time we're gonna add it to the same vSAN tier three. I'm gonna click submit. Now you can see it just, um, the window goes away once you click submit. But if I go back into my primary dashboard and I come down here to my, my logs, here you can see I have logs. It says node action sent, execute sent, um, here you can see online no redundancy for my tier three, and that will change as it goes through its maintenance to add that second drive into that tier three for high availability redundancy. Here you can see it's repairing my online node, and now both of them are both online, fully online for both my tiers. So now I just go to my vSAN tiers. I can see vSAN tier one and vSAN tier three. If I double click on my vSAN tier three, here you can see it has two drives one on node one, one on node two, two terabyte drives, same device names, SDA2 and SDA2. Now I have a fully redundant, highly available vSAN tier three that I can deploy my VM workloads on, running on SATA SSDs. And that's it. Thank you.